bustons. So today we're gonna be learning how to lace Air Force Ones. Feel me? So in short, um, these are some like classic sneakers. Everybody wears them differently, but hopefully today I turn a new leaf for you and you might want to wear them or adjust your sneakers my way. Um, the actual lacing method is really no different from how they come. The only thing that we really do is pull a few strings out and let them hang. We don't tie them. That's really the only difference. To me, it looks very clean. It gives you that bounce around. And who gives a fuck if your shoestrings get dirty? Because nine times out of ten, the sneaker will get dirty before the shoestrings get dirty. And everybody know Air Force Ones are typically throwaways anyway. If you are really into Air Force Ones, then you already know that they throwaways. You know that. You might get one, two, three, four, five wears out of them tops. But nine times out of ten, unless you like really, really good with sneakers, they throw away. Except I'm not gonna lie, I got one pair with like diamonds on the check. I can show you how I did them there. I made them myself. I don't lie, I wore them about 10, 15 times and they have not creased. They have not, and I got a creasing video right there. That's how I get them not to crease. They have not creased and they have not gotten dirty. Other than that, I'm just gonna show you how we lace them. We just jump right into it. So the Air Force is a classic sneaker, a very classic sneaker. And um, pretty much, the way it comes laced is already how you want to keep it. You know what I'm saying? So there's really no work to do with the Air Force. The only thing is the way you tie it. You never want an Air Force, you never want to wear Air Force super clean. I know Air Force is a super in style right now. I mean, they're always in style, but like, right, you know it go through trends. Sometimes you have the high top ones, sometimes you have the low top ones. Right now, lows are the wave. I kind of knew I liked Lowe's when I saw how good they look with skinny jeans. I was like, wow, I didn't know that. Alright, so, basically, this is how they come laced, you know, kind of tight. And, you know, they'll come, the laces will be tucked, but you, you never want to be this guy. You never want to be this guy. This is not the guy who you want to be. This is not who you're destined to be, okay? This is not the Don way. You know that way? The Don way? That's not this. This is not that. See this? That's dookie, bro. Like, that's not what we doing. This is 2018. Like, you gotta look effortless. This looks like you're about to go for a fucking job. You ain't going for no job. You don't need to shit that tight. What are you talking about? This is not, this is not what you're here for, okay? This is that way. You know, the dumb way. You feel me? You see that? This is what, this is the fire. Right here. Now you like, yo, who are you to say what you saying? I don't know, I'm just me and I'm just saying it's the dawn way. You know that way. So, here you go. So it's really simple. Only difference between these two is the looseness of it. Now of course, I will always recommend putting your foot in the shoe while doing this so you know what's perfect for you. These were already on my feet, believe it or not. Um, so, if you get them, they'll be like this of course, right? And I know it's really difficult to see. Because of the, uh, which I'm calling we'll zoom in some more. So, and my socks are kind of thick. I always recommend wearing thick socks with Air Force Ones, just to make sure that creasing goes is creasing as as least as possible. Also, in order to prevent creasing, please watch my other video. I have not done it with these, but uh, what you practically do is take a sole from an old pair from another pair of sneakers and just cut the top of the sole and you put it there. If you want that uh, full tutorial. Uh, I will link that video in the description and also I'll like put something like in the corner right there or something So basically what you want to do is once you got them on your feet pull the tongue up some Then you want to just basically take this out until it hits gravity and I say gravity just like it's not on the ground See right now we're on the floor You want to take pull them out until he hits gravity and you don't want to just be at gravity like you don't want to be right here You don't ever want it to be like right there you want it to be above here. Nah, like at there. Like right there. See? Oh no, okay. Yeah, about that. So then, <clears throat> pull the tongue up some, and then with the second two shoe strings, you want to pull it so it isn't just like a big mumbo jumbo. And you just adjust, and now you are the boss don that you were destined to be. You know, the don way, the boss don way. See that? And, when, and if anybody say anything, like, you bro, like, well, we trying to look so cool for your shoes not being tied. Tell that nigga, oh, you don't know that way? The darn way? <laughs> he don't know that way. The darn way. So, anyway, that's it, y'all. This is the wrong way. This is the darn way. It ain't the right way. It's the darn way. So, don't come in my comments saying, well, why will I wear my shoes loose? How are they going to protect my ankles? If you wear shoes for protecting your ankles, then you need to get yourself some sketches. And I ain't talking about... No D-Lights, because I'm going to tell you the way your D-Lights the same way. 
talking about some real nigga shit. This is real nigga shit. This is corny. You look like you about to boo boo flip a limb f o o flip a limb All right, y'all. That was enough. Done. And as you can see, even that really wasn't too different from how they come. Really, it's just I'm like super specific. It all happened when I was in middle school and I learned how to like do all these crazy lace tricks. It made me be very specific about how I lace my shoes. Other than that, we Gucci, y'all. So, um, yeah, if you like my content, be sure to subscribe to me. Uh, if you don't like my content, then uh, still subscribe because you might like something I put out. Other than that, um, just follow me on Instagram. I don't even know what to tell you at this point. Like a video, comment. Um, just stay untouchable. Godspeed.